What's up, YouTube? Mini Mancino here, and welcome back to another episode of Creative Builds. Last time we worked on this little area again, and as you can see, I've made a couple little changes. Now, um, what I've done... There's still that weird lighting glitch when I come out here. What I've done was I put upside down stairs around here and stuff just to kind of cover up the slabbies because I want to bring this guy forward. I put a block here to kind of accentuate these guys and stuff. And also so I can do a this without it looking strange. Did I put something in the wrong spot? Maybe not? No? Okay. Awesome. So I can do something like a so. Now, I'm thinking, I also put these like this. I didn't do this, but I kind of think I like these ones better without the emphasis. So, like, the emphasis is placed on the outer ones. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch that back as soon as I put some of this glass in. Now, yeah, do you see that? Can I see that glitch? Hang on. Yeah, do you see that? Like, look at the top of the screen there. You see it's, like, all really bright blue? That's weird, right? What is that? What's causing that? It's normal? Now it's weird. It's normal? Weird. Normal. Weird. Normal. Weird. What is that? I really want to know. It's distracting a little bit. Um, okay, so basically, what we're doing is we're putting our glass here, and this is basically our sort of gateway thing, I guess? Okay, so now these guys... These guys have too much emphasis. They don't need they don't need this decorative crap here. What needs to happen is this needs to be put back. These can be just like understated, kinda like the outside bit. Um, these guys are just more emphasized because of the thing, and it makes this area feel slightly less crowded. Yeah, I think I like that better. So then this guy can just go away and be like that. Okay. Amazing. Awesome. Because then I'd have to do that to the roof too, and I feel like it would make it a little bit, um, I want to say like claustrophobic almost. I screwed something up. Hello! Go there. Perfect. Um, that's better. That is better. Do I want to do like bricks like the up area? I kind of think I don't for this one. Um, I kind of feel like maybe I could put something there, like a light. Or something that's kind of off to the side a little bit. I kind of want to be able to do things out here. Have a nice patio set out here. Maybe a barbecue? Possibly? Um, this area here. This was supposed to be eight blocks. So one, two, three. I want to go maybe here. Break these out. No, I calculated that very wrong. No, I did not. I just broke the wrong one. So that means this has one, two, and this has one, why is that not even, two, one, two, one, two, okay, um, you know what, I can, I can live with that, I guess, just assume that it can close up and stuff like that, just, it's like this, just assume this is a sliding door, I know it's not very survival friendly, but you know what, there it is, and I think, I'm gonna call that good for this area for now because I want to do I want to connect all that do I want to just connect that is that what I want to do kind of it's dark here actually so I, I'm gonna want to put like lights and stuff up here but I think I think this is okay because I'm gonna bring this guy out to here have a direct pathway to the next person's house which is gonna be a cave um, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited for that, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and leave the focus off of this for now, because I think I am willing to call this pretty well done. And I don't know if it's entirely modern, but I don't think it's entirely old school either. So I'm going to leave that as is. And we are going to continue on, possibly carry on this guy here. This might be our solution for here. Is just carry on this guy with the upside down things on this area. So maybe I don't have to do much of the terraforming again. I want to do as little terraforming as possible. This is very brickish, but I think that might be okay. That might be okay. 
now let's go around here and start working over here. We've got we've got a couple things we gotta fix here. So let's see if we can just kind of cheese it with this. I want to put like flowery stuff and gardens here and things, but I kinda got to get that sorted out first. So I'm kinda just gonna not for a while. That that block there needs to be covered up by uh, that guy. Okay, awesome. Now, can you go on properly? Block! Thank you. Sometimes, sometimes they just don't want to go the way you want, and you're like, can you please, can you please? Well, just like that. Can you? And like that. I'm, clearly, I'm not staying aligned as much as I think I am. And that's kind of throwing me off. Can you? No, don't destroy things. Crap, what did I just, did I just destroy some concrete there? I think that's supposed to be concrete there. So you can go back there, and you can go boom. No, you can go boom. Thank you. Beautiful. So that can be that there, and then I don't have to terraform anything. Like, I just immediately can just have it on this higher plane without adding some weird looking thing. Does that look okay? And then I can put, like, you know, a garden and stuff like I still want to back here. And it, it'll cover some of that up too. I think that might be fine. And then that kind of has, it kind of ties in this area, which is about, I'm listening. no, you're not, stop. I didn't activate you. <laughs> I should probably turn off, turn that off because like, damn. But yeah, like I said, it kind of ties in this area a little bit. And, uh, you know, just kind of keeps that going. So maybe that's okay. Maybe that is entirely fine. So, instead of wasting more time here, what I was originally thinking of doing was putting slabbies up here, maybe. Or maybe backward stairs? I kind of feel like backward stairs wouldn't look good. Because I want to see the light gray from the outside, but I don't want to cover it completely. Um... Part of me thinks maybe I want I want to consider putting light gray and then another slab, but that would kind of interfere with what I've already done here. This guy here needs to be dealt with like right now. We're gonna deal with some porch action in this episode, and it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool. So this guy needs to be covered up, so we're gonna do that right about now. Right about now. And once we have that settled. Thank god I can't drown, eh? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just, just fill it out layer by layer, because I move really, really slow underwater, and it's really, really annoying. But I don't have Depth Strider. I should have put Depth Strider on. What was I thinking? I'm in creative mode! I can literally have an almost anything. Um, but there it is. I do not have almost anything, so... What can I do? Except for continuing to play the game. Um, we're gonna do that, we're gonna fill this guy in, and it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be sweet. Well, I'm gonna put in another one somewhere. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, I made one in my other world where I created my apartment, and I, like, added, um, it was in a super flat world, though, and, like, the, I guess the bottom of the world wasn't very far up, or very far down. Um, so it, I didn't really have a lot of room to work with. I don't really know how to change that. Um, I don't know how to change settings like that in Minecraft. I'm, I'm kind of like playing at a noobish level. I don't know. There's something, there's something I'm unaware of in Minecraft that'll let me change the build limit on, on super flat worlds, and I don't know what that is, um, which is kind of a pain in the butt, actually. But um, I built one. I also built. I also built like a swimming pool area. Like I built a pool, it was pretty cool. It had like, it had, uh, what did it have? It had like a barbecue area, it was a giant like pool deck. It had a diving board, had like Muskoka chairs. It had all the things, and all the things I think looked pretty good. It had like a nice hedge fence, like a really tall, like primarily hedge-based fence that I thought looked pretty sweet. So, you know, there's that. Um, you know, I had, it was all paved over, it had like, 
you know, stone slab flooring all, all surrounding it to be like a, a pool deck. You know, it was like all proper pool shenanigans and it had, you know, places for people to sit. Um, like I said, the barbecue thing, just all kinds of things. It was great. I want to see if I can do something similar here, if I can find a good place for that. But right now, this pond is gone. I know I could have just covered the top, but I don't want water noises. Because sometimes water noises will throw you off. And it's kind of like, man, I don't want these water noises here. Now, we have our porch sort of deal. I don't exactly know what I want to do for it. Um, do I want to tie in what I did down, down in the basement area for this? I don't want to cover it. I just want to do like a basic thing. So maybe I could get away with that. Um, maybe I could. Possibly. Uh, I want to have like stairs going to the back and the front so people can get in from both sides. And I kind of feel as though maybe I want these. Maybe I want these here to go, to go along this area. Maybe... Stop it! You! Phone! Enough of that. It's not at all what I was trying to do. <sighs> I'm definitely going to have to turn that off for the next recording, because that is going to kind of annoy me. It's been pretty helpful so far, but, you know, sometimes... I think that might be a good size. Um, it might be okay. Maybe I should go with a concrete porch? something okay so maybe take these guys out maybe take this side out and go with go with that here possibly and add like slabos on top i don't know i don't know what i want to do you guys this is not great maybe go something like that and then cuz then i can come up here this be an appropriate thing to do? I feel like this might not be awful. Because then I can have... So you got your stairs coming up. And can I... Do I have stone slab... Or yeah, do I have stone slabs on me? I feel like that might be a nice tie in here. I don't know if I have them, so I'm going to fly back over and see if I can grab because I can't read from this distance which is something I should have honestly thought of but I did not so there you go um <laughs> I apologize for that actually but okay so we've got can you please not can you please not again maybe so we can do something like this I kind of maybe, maybe just on the stair parts. So let's take these guys out completely and do something along the lines of perhaps that and have, have those guys sticking up like that. I feel like that might not be high pick. I feel like that might not actually be terrible. Um, I don't, um, I feel like this would lend itself to like maybe a flower bed or something. I want lots of flower beds around. <laughs> Just something, something neat. But I feel like that might not be awful. It's, it's just, you know, it's kind of there. It's not super, super crazy. There's a little bit more of that gray showing, but in a different way. Um, maybe, maybe just have these. And then maybe put this here. Would that look okay here? I feel like... No. I feel like maybe no. No, no, no. That would not look okay there. Okay, so should I just have them blank like that? Maybe. Maybe. Because even if I walk on them, it's not that big a deal. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. So we got our little side porch thing. Just like that. I think... I think I'm okay with that. Because then I can have, you know, a thing going to the back. 
if, if we want to set up a thing in the backyard or back area, like a garden type thing, just have like pathways going along and stuff. I don't entirely know what I want to do. This absolutely needs garden stuff. I can't replace this, so it's going to be like a raised flower bed. <coughs> Excuse me. Apologies. I think what I might actually do is there isn't going to be an access to the back from the front because this is kind of like this. So we're going to have our porch here and stuff and it's going to kind of end in a flower bed and stuff and we're just going to have it sort of cut off here so I can do more gardeny stuff and have like a little gardeny area so that you can access it from here and go to like the front side garden but not have stuff interfering too much with your shenanigans. Now, this guy, I think I'm going to kind of do the same sort of design here, but probably a little bit bigger and just have some stairs at the front. So this is going to want to be, this is going to want to be what? What did I do here? I put stairs here before and then replace them with that. Do I want that? I mean, it's going to kind of interfere with the door if I don't have it this way. Isn't it? Put you there. Because, hang on. What can I do? Maybe, is that a good size? I think it might be. Something not terribly gigantic, but not like small either. And then have these guys up front. No, 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 properly. These guys can go here. And then these guys can, I guess, just come out. And then I'll put... And then I'll put these guys. Oop. So it's slightly different than the other one, which is, I think, perfect, actually. I think that's okay and acceptable to have. It's slightly different different sort of deal. It's not, you know, it's actually quite big for a porch. I think that might be what I want to go for. Because then I could put, like, you know, a plant out here, like a little table for somebody to sit at. Just something nice to relax at. I think that might be okay. How are we doing for time? We are at 17 minutes. Okay, so we've already accomplished what I would like to do for this episode, and I feel like... Um, I'm going to want to take a breather and, you know, end the recording session for now and figure out what I want to do with the roof. This is actually uh, going fairly well, and then we can start landscaping and gardening and stuff. This is going a lot better and a lot faster than I thought it would. So, um, I think, I think, I think we might be okay, you guys. So... I'm going to end this episode for now, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, Minnie out. Look at that sun. It's so pretty. Alright, sorry about that. Minnie out.